what's going to be an exciting game of basketball between St. Joseph Girls School Nugego there as well as Good Shepherd Farm and Calambo what's going to be the other 19 girls final. So the traditional drum ball starts. And now you go the ball is up. St. Joseph's College should well the girls school the reason go. She should have opted the shot without passing it out. She was uh, really free. Where the number nine goes, she went into that punch and he sends it off to Lil Masi Sante. Tries to go for that post move. Uh, yeah. All the way way left forward, back to Lil Masi Sante, who takes a couple of dribbles and beats him. Makes an easy shot. Yeah, it's it. it a beautiful move there. Once again, St. Joseph's goes for it. Finally, yeah, I mean, Serene with the ball for good shepherds. He attempts a three pointer from outside. It is yeah, good. Serena with the ball once again, passes it to the post player position, but the three saw it differently. It was a tough call indeed, it was a tough uh, call for New Mars. It's about driving, but Shireen with the ball now, drives to the right, takes a tough contested J, and it is good. As it is, the number five who finally makes it, with the ball, that is once again loses control, easy picking, this is, as you said, they better put their heart and soul in it. They're going to find it difficult. And Hansi will launch the three up. And it is good. She gets the friendly look. It is good. Shepard Conman showing more hustle and determination. As Sherin drives in and makes a tough entrance. It is their number 15, Salani, who has an opportunity to make them pay. And she does make them pay. As it is once again for Santi, who makes a tough contested jumper. And she makes it. Although she made that shot five seconds ago, it is the number 15, Salani, who hoists the shot up, and she makes a huge three-pointer. It is 12-22 at the end of the first half. Better late than never. He said in the final possession, coming off, and this is not a three-pointer. Santi and Shireen, especially, as they've been doing a lot of damage for them. On finding the number five, who has a shot blocked once again by none other than Sasanti. Any inroads in trying to make that lead even bigger. It's a perfect opportunity for them to get to the end. Isn't doing enough passes. You should probably find more perimeter players, and that will probably be more effective as the shot drop and ends up getting caught on a foul. Now it's Sasanti once again, drives in hard, makes a good turn around, and he drives in, passes it to Salani. Salani with a big attempt at the three point line, and the friendly roll is good. Let him, you've been seeing what's happening. Things have changed a little bit. And what is it? Finally, Tanya Pereira. A couple of dribbles through the lane. Beautiful set of the ball. Looking for action. Drives through the middle lane. Blocked by Nirma Sissanti. And the three of the Skipper for Good Shepherd Tomlin. Back to Nirma Sissanti. Goes up. Uh, they, especially when it comes to a defensive assignment point of view. It's extraordinary. Once again, going to Sissanti on the post. And it is Money Asia. Shooting up a tough contested layup. But guess who it is? Yeah, who comes? Ball is? You can never place your bets. Uh, as uh, Jack Wilson, Vice in Prina, is on the line now. And this is just dreadful because they are leading the game. Oh, and that's all it's where Lil Master Sunday is out of the bench. That's a very good point that you made there, Lil Good observation. And and who is trying to find the number five who has come. Let's see if she can make. make them pay. Yes, she does. Oneshka is the one. Who that she. So did it do so in those uh, two weeks and 45 seconds. And the team made his right lane. Easy pickings. And the rebound is good. Rebound is good. Continues right into the fourth quarter. But finally, it all goes for those two points. Back to Tarin there. Goes, drives, goes for the floor. They get it in. Absolute ball well. On the other hand, we see the ball stolen by Tarindi. And it's a big, big, absolutely crucial position coming up. Salani drives in and makes a huge layup. Gets it up, goes to the shot, misses. Rebounded by her. Intercepted and that's it. It's going for overtime. Five minutes of extra play. Four goal at full time. You are, you are at home or at work or where you are. It's coming right to you. I'm not sure Kasanti is not going to be available. Good step at Conman as she has the five fouls. And all good for all you non-basketball fans. The coach will have to continue with the same. He's not that familiar with all these girls, but that possibly cannot be an excuse for either of these Five teams. Five team made on the post. And that's it. Number 15, and it's Salani on the other end. She passes it on to Onishka. Onishka makes no mistake on the basket. Yeah. Salani rolls off. 
Tessa over here and she missed it. She redeems herself. Yeah, to do a, a hit in the gym to make sure they become strong day by day. And Sarah is not driving to her right. But the defense is right on the money. Tanya is on defense. And it is Hansi with a huge three. It has to be a do or die on the free throw line. And it is Onesha. Onesha with yet another attempt at the basket. She may score up both the free throw. I swear in 19 seconds. 48, 47, not going to go for the point. That's the end. The end in 47 seconds. Two free throws. She has to convert these two free throws to put the game away. Three seconds on the clock. One second on the clock. And it is Talani wipes it up. But a low little too late. As it is Good Shepherd Conwell. That's the most dominant for the order, but sometimes it's a better of us to be in charge of 2016. Then it's starting to go, winning it 48-51 and extra time periods. What a game they've made out of it. What an action.